So if I click on add contents, we have content two, we have content three. Hey guys, oh, welcome again to my video. In my today's video, I'm going to make it very quick and very fast. What I just want to show you guys is how Ajax works in um, in PHP, how you can use an Ajax in your PHP projects. So to get started with, I'm going to um, declare the HTML5 document layer and uh, here i'm going to set my title to ajax so let me set my title to ajax and also with the ajax that we are going to be using in this project i'm going to be using jquery author so let me just go to my google chrome and get jquery cdn so i'm going to type jquery jquery cdn sorry jquery cdn so let me go to w3 school uh, grab this current one that is here so let's pick this guy ctrl c and open new tab close this tab then go to my vx code and drop the link down to my bottom um bottom script area that is my footer that is where i drop this code good so the purpose of this video is to show you how ajax works in php that that's all nothing really important how you can get content without reloading the page that is the main focus of this video so uh we are done with um copying copying the cdn to our code so the next thing i'm going to do is to introduce a simple um a simple document in my body tag so here i'm going to introduce a div so let's say this div is the container the class container so let's call this container inside this container we are going to have div dot content let's call this content now inside this content we are going to have simple h1 let's call this h1 um content one content content one so now we have content one inside this content class and everything inside this container so let's say this is content one and we want to generate content two content three content four content five like that show you get what i'm saying so that is where ajax come in so before we load the ajax let me load this page which is youtube project on my localhost so i'm going to go to my localhost and also call the youtube path so as you can see we have what content one so let me show my um uh, my inspect area so that you can understand clearly how this really works so i'm going to take this up and go to network as you can see we are going to be using console and also network these two guys is what we are going to be using so first to be very sure that ajax is running on our site we are going to use this um, script to know that so i'm going to use um jq uh -huh, let me even show you another thing so I'll, i also use this um extensions a lot so if you can try to get it jquery extension <coughs> this guy i use this extension a lot as in it's, it's it's amazing i love it so you can also get the extension so you can follow what i'm doing so by the time you click on jq doc it's going to automatically make the init um init code for you to get ready on writing um jquery so with this document ready that shows that you are ready to start performing um any manipulation on your web pages so with document ready is very very important okay so within this section i'm going to i'm going to make a log that is log jquery is ready so jquery is ready so with log jquery is ready we are going to be giving this as you can see we have jquery is ready but at this moment we are not sending any network request nothing is being sent that is being sent to the server okay so now here we have content one so we want to get content two content three so how do we get that let's add a button right um after or right before the content section or right after the content section because we can also inject the uh, external content coming from ajax inside this place or anywhere you like here you get so you are not restricted to anything so here i'm going to add a button this button is going to say add more content add more content 
so by clicking on save this is going to add a button for us can you see we have this button but this button is not doing anything at this moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an id here so id add more content add more content as you can see we have what id add more content so i will copy this id then go to my jquery and introduce click event so i'm going to be using a click event from this id so jq click enter remove the selector and pass in your hash id into it now with this click event it's going to automatically bind an event to our button so anytime we click it's going to trigger so let's not log it by saying uh, button has been clicked so button clicked so let's confirm this button is working can you see it says what button click if you can see my uh, console area it says what button click so that shows that is working so what we want to do is anytime anytime a user click on this button is going to append a new content to content three like that and um and continuously so you get so to do that now we are going to introduce jquery into this place but before we introduce jquery we need to first um, in, um create a new file called ajax or any file name that you can recollect so ajax.php inside this place now inside this place i'm going to initialize my php and within this section i'm going to list in if it sets if what is coming from the client area that is if it is set so what am i setting i'm going to listen to get request get request for counts because count is also necessary so i know what is coming so i can increment the count so if it set count and uh, count is not empty so let me set this if it set count and uh, count is not empty as you can see this is it here so we get the count we increment the count and send back the count but why sending back the count what we are going to do is we are going to compile both the counts and the content we are getting uh, we are sending both the counts and content also on this current server so we are sending counts and also content on this server at the same time so to make it awesome above it i'm going to add header header the header is going to be content type application slash json so application so this is going to convert it to a json readable format which is going to look more awesome so in our account section here we are going to have echo um json encode we are going to encode it in an array so we have the counts and we also have the content so here content so here now we have the content that says uh h1 content the count that is coming so the count is automatically sent down um to the um to the front end while we also compile the count um the count data into our h1 if you do understand i don't even get what i'm saying so this is all the simple logic on how ajax work so this is the guy we are sending back to the front end return to front end so we are sending this back to the front end and we accept it by getting the content so now we go back to our index and within this index we are going to introduce the ajax so here we are going to call jq ajax enter and we change this method to get and the url is ajax.php that is this file we created so the data we are sending by default on page load we know the data is count one so as you can see we have this count one here so we grab the count one and anytime we receive any new data we need to improve this count like a dynamic count so let's let me show you what i'm talking about so here i'm going to have a data type of json the data i'm sending and what i'm receiving so within this source section i'm going to log let's log what we are getting so that we really know this is working so i'm going to save this as you can see this is what i have i send this count and we are trying to log so we are not really doing anything with the html for now so i'll save this refresh this page and click on get more content as you can see we have what count two and we have content content two 
good so if i refresh this page the count is going to be lost or if you click on this count again we are going to be seeing what count two count two count two which doesn't make any sense so for us to save this count we need to first of us um trigger if there is available count then show count else show one so here we are going to be using we are going to be listening to session storage so session storage we, is going to help us save the count so here we have variable count equals to our session uh, session storage so we get this count from session storage so if count is equals to none that is empty we give it an initial count else <coughs> we are going to send one to it so here i can accept count as this or possibly take it out as this because it's still the same thing it's an object in javascript so click on save and within this place if i receive the count i'm going to what, save it to my session storage as you can see update count so within this place we get the count because the count is coming from uh, our encode version as count so we get the count and here we update the session count and here we append to content uh, to dot content which is what we have here dot content so we have the next content appended to this place we have append we have prepend we have um, before we have after so let me show you append and also prepend so let's save this and refresh the page so if i click on add content we have content two we have content three so that is append so we can also use prepend so with prepend is going to be before the content one so as you can see content four content five content six so the reason why we have a resumption for our count is because the session storage works as it is once the page load is still stored based on the url so let's say we want to so let's return back the append to uh the print to append as you can see we have it uh, one after the other so i'm going to fix this um count issue so let's do that so i'm going to check if this count is um is not equal to none so if it's not equal to none and is um uh is greater than okay okay this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to do don't let us do that so since this is an on-click function can you see it's an on-click function because it's an on-click function it is on to a user click the button before it works so anytime the page load let's clear the word let's clear the session so clear session anytime the page loads up so clear session storage so this is going to help us clear the session storage anytime the page loads so we can start from scratch can you see and if i refresh again we start from scratch cool so this is how you can manipulate content in um php using ajax um most especially jquery i love jquery a lot i use it almost on my projects so guys if you have any question related to this project please and please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is very important subscribe to our channel to get more better updates okay guys thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video see you in the next one